Uh, we're now going to have Dr. Buma Bayana speak. Uh, Dr. Bayana works with, uh, with Tarek in the Intercommunity Health Center. Dr. Bayana herself has uh, recently been awarded a national award from our Canadian College of Family Physicians for her own work with uh, disadvantaged and refugee populations, and she's also our Regional Family Physician of the Year. Uh, it's a great pleasure to introduce Dr. Buma Bayana. I'd also like to mention that joining Buma on stage in solidarity uh, with her and with John and Tarek are Jennifer Williamson, the social worker at the Cross Cultural Learner Program, and Joanne Beltorf, nurse, uh, nurse practitioner at the Asian Community Health Center. Thank you. You have all heard of and read about Dr. Tarek Lubani's humanitarian work overseas. I want people to know what Dr. Lubani did for people right here in this community and about his compassionate and tireless fight to care for people who are marginalized and cannot advocate for themselves. In his day job, Tarek worked at the emergency room of the London Health Sciences Centre. However, he did not let his commitment to health care and equitable access to health end there. For the past few years, Tarek has been volunteering with the Newcomer Health Program, a collaboration of the Medical School, the Cross-Cultural Learner Centre, and the London Community Health Centre. We at the Newcomer Health Program have had the privilege of working alongside Tarek and calling him our colleague and our friend. We know a few things about Tarek from our work with him. And it is my pleasure to share these things with you. First of all, Tarek is a very principled physician. He believes very strongly in the tenets of the Canada Health Act and that all people have the right to equal access to care. He went out of his way to make sure that people who were new refugees, challenged by poverty or homelessness, could receive the same kind of care as anyone else. Tarek took time, even after his long shifts at the emergency room, to volunteer in our clinic. He had even begun to work with the Centre of Hope to provide basic medical care for people in London who were challenged by serious mental health or by homelessness. He gave back to London as he gave back to the world. Tarek is also a very well-spoken and outspoken physician. In this very park this summer, Tarek participated in a demonstration to bring attention to the cuts to refugee health care. During his talk, he spoke about his own family's escape to Canada and their experience as refugees. He told that story with such candor and gentleness that in his story we were able to feel the stories of all refugees. Tarek ended his talk with one simple assertion. He said that he had not get taken an oath to the government, he had not taken his oath to any policy, but he had taken an oath to his patients. That was classic Tarek. Classic Tarek was clarity of thought and clarity of purpose. Tarek is a person who walks the walk. While many of us may call ourselves environmentalists, Tarek rode his bike everywhere, even in mid-February, even at 1 a.m. coming off shift at the emergency room. I remember one cold February night having to drive to the hospital to see a family medicine patient. When I arrived at the hospital, Tarek was riding his bike off shift at midnight. He was always recognizable on his bike because he wore a funky motorcycle helmet. <laughs> and I decided then and there to stop complaining about the cold. 
Tarek has been such an inspiration to many students at the medical school. He has taught lectures on social determinants of health. The idea that you can only be healthy if you have access to basic things such as housing and jobs. He taught this with such passion. He brought to life for the students what he had seen in the emergency room and in the clinic. He really brought that message home to the students. My fondest memories of our refugee clinic are the meetings we held to debrief after clinic. Tarek gave of his time to teach students, but also to hear their stories and their feelings about the difficult cases that they had just seen. He would end always with a silly story or a joke to put us all at ease after a difficult session. He had also been such an incredible role model to students, showing them that you can be an excellent physician but stay grounded with both, both feet firmly planted on the ground. He has been such an incredible role model to students. I like to call Tarek our Robin Hood. He had a vision for our clinic. As we grappled with being able to give care for those without healthcare coverage, Tarek proposed that we set up a fund where we collect billings from insured patients and use it to help cost, cover the cost of tests and x-rays for people who fell through the cracks. He always thought outside the box and challenged us to do more with what we had, always with the same commitment to purpose, to caring for those who fell through the cracks. In our clinic, Tarek has cared for people who have escaped war, trauma, and persecution. He has helped to heal the wounds of people who have suffered violent regimes. I think his work overseas and his own personal experience made him appreciate what people suffer in that journey. But above everything else, his work was driven by an incredible humanity. <laughs> Tarek has advocated on behalf of those who had been held prisoners under regimes where they were held without charge and without recourse. And now, he finds himself in the same predicament as those he has cared for. Anything short of immediate release of Tarek and John is an affront to basic human values. We demand that Tarek and John be released immediately.